I mean, how many people can say that they work in a place where an extension of their coworkers go out of their way to see if they can be a match to give you a kidney? Is there a greater gift? Tulsa coworkers going beyond the call of duty for a fellow school employee. Teachers banding together to try and give the employee a second chance at life. Two Works Shea reporter Lorraine Callender has the heartwarming story that you'll see only on two. Is it one of them toros that you get on and you just and She has a personality that can't be ignored. <laughs> but three years ago, something was off with Lanicia Hamilton. And I had come to work on a Friday and I was like, I really don't feel that well. She saw her blood pressure was alarmingly high and went to the hospital only to find out she had kidney failure. Which scared me. So I said, Jesus, please take the wheel because I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Neither did her co-workers, but they stepped up anyway. At least 10 going to their doctors, from custodians to warehouse to office workers, all willing to donate their kidney to Lanicia. If it weren't for them, I don't know how I would have made it through. Another TPS employee, Anne Marie Hayden, went through dozens of doctors. It's an extensive program um, where they, they want to make sure that they're not going to end up with two patients and made it to the final round to see if her kidney was compatible. While she didn't get the news she was hoping for. In the same breath that we found out I wasn't a candidate, we also found out that um, this other person was a match. While Lanicia could not be happier. I'm trying not to cry because <laughs> it was so exciting. And Marie felt a void. Jenny, I said, I feel like the Lord's telling me that I need to keep going. I said, I don't know what that means. Realizing the struggle Lanicia went through waiting three years for a match, Anne Marie decided to give the gift of life to someone else. This is really no skin off me, other than a little bit inside. <laughs> Anne Marie's surgery is slated for December 6th. Lanicia's is shortly after on January 3rd. And Brian and Karen, these school support staff members already do so much. And just to see something like this is really heartwarming. The, what an incredible group of people, just so giving. And to know that they're willing to go to that link, that is an incredible story. Thank you, Laureen.